21 years ago in Mrs. Pullman's class, <laughs> kindergarten, I met my best friend, Mary Elizabeth Dill. <laughs> and little did I know that she would change my life forever. I've been truly blessed to have been given a brother like AJ, and there are so many traits that I admire that he has. Never once have I ever seen him stressed out. He always seems to be calm and relaxed. Uh, something I definitely envy. And I'm sure everybody else in the family does. If you know Mary at all, you know how much she values friendship more than anything in the world. Her loyalty is so admirable. Her advice is so wise. And her sense of humor is contagious. In every situation in life, you are always the person I go to. You're such a remarkable friend, and I'm blessed to have you in my life. To our group, Mary adds unconditional love, zero judgment, firmness when you need it, sensitivity when you need it, laughter, music, talent, and a heart that truly feels empathy for others, and a genuineness that I've never seen before. In our mom's cooking, and our dad's work ethic. They gave more of themselves than that. They gave her afterward every day. They became part of her. The family usages, the language, the company, the furniture, the yearning and swelling heart. These became part of that child who went forth every day and who now goes and will always go forth. Love you. Part of being an older brother is giving advice and looking out for others. But after watching the two of these two live for, support, and love each other unconditionally, it's time I ask for your counsel, which I never do to anybody. Because you have done it so right, and I can only hope for everybody in this room that they can do the same. I, AJ, take you, Mary, to be my wife. I, Mary, take you, AJ, to be my husband. I promise to be true to you in good times and in bad. In sickness and in health. I will love you and honor you all the days of my life. I will love you and honor you all the days of my life. You have declared your consent before the church. May the Lord in his goodness strengthen your consent and fill you both with his blessings. What God has joined, men must not divide. Congratulations. Thank you. Would you like to I've known AJ for a really long time, and uh, he's been there for me multiple times throughout my life, through the majority of my life. Uh, so I'm glad I can be here tonight at supporting him and the rest of this weekend. So happy for you guys. Love you both, and cheers. Having seen you guys for the last few years, uh, you guys truly are soulmates, and that became very, very obvious to us. So you guys will do, do very well. So I would like everyone, if you could, to raise a glass and toast, and we wish you many, many years of happiness romance, fun, and love. Make as many memories as you can, because that's what life's about. I asked my dad about the idea of marriage and being married a long time, because my folks were married 50 years. And he said to me, he said, well, your mom and I had some disagreements over the years, and when I was wrong and she was right, I would simply say, you're right, Thelma, I'm wrong, and I'm sorry. And then there was a long pause. And I said, well, what did you say when you were right? He said, don't say a word. So Mary and AJ, Toast to a life of good health, much happiness, the creation of many, many memories together, filled with thoughtfulness, generosity, thankfulness, and as Monsignor said to you in his message tonight, be the best you can be every day when you wake up.